What happens when chocolate chip cookies and brownies get married and then have a baby? They call them brookies. Let's see what's cooking. It's time for yo yo bags. 12. First thing we're going to do is make the chocolate chip cookie part of this. That is one half cup of butter that's been melted. Adding to that a half a cup of brown sugar, quarter cup of white granulated sugar, and whisk or blend this together until smooth. Then we'll add in one large egg, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, combine that together, half a teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt, blend that in, and then finally blend in one cup plus two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Then you'll stir in one cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. Now you'll notice that this batter is going to be kind of runny and really, really sticky. So what you're gonna do is put it in the freezer for a half an hour or in the refrigerator for one hour until it's firm enough to work with. Then you'll take spoonfuls or teaspoonfuls of the dough, roll them between your hands until you get little chocolate chip cookie dough balls. Then you're gonna take all the little balls and put them in the freezer for about an hour until they're very, very firm and nicely frozen. Now we're gonna make the brownie batter. That's two cups of semi-sweet chocolate chips, one cup of butter. Put this in the microwave and cook it for about one or two minutes until the butter is melted. Stir the butter and the chocolate chips together until it's you get this delicious looking ganache kind of stuff. You're gonna pour that into the mixing bowl. Now we're gonna add the rest of the brownie ingredients. From there, we're going to add two cups of white granulated sugar, blend that until smooth, and then you're gonna beat in four large eggs, one at a time beating after each addition. Now it's time to add in a tablespoon of vanilla and one cup of unsweetened cocoa powder. Blend that on low so you don't get powder flying all over the place. We're gonna add in a teaspoon of baking powder and a half a teaspoon of salt. And then finally, one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, a little bit at a time until it is combined. And that is your brownie batter. Now you're gonna take half of those little frozen chocolate chip cookie dough balls and you're gonna put them in with the brownie batter and you're gonna quickly but gently stir them in. You wanna do this quickly because you don't want them to melt and spread out. Then take that combination and put it in the bottom of a nine by 13 inch baking dish that's been lined with parchment paper and I greased my parchment paper as well. Spread it out gently. I say gently because you don't wanna squish those cookie dough balls. You want them to stay whole. And then take the remaining of the frozen cookie dough balls and you're gonna press them into the top of your brownie, kind of evenly all over. Then bake this at 350 degrees for anywhere between 35 and 45 minutes. Mine took closer to 45 minutes because I'm using a glass baking dish. You wanna bake it so that the edges are firm and when you stick a toothpick in the center, it kind of comes out with lots of moist crumbs but no raw batter and the cookie dough balls on the top will be nice golden brown. This is an amazing recipe. The, it's kind of fudgy. The brownies are really, really moist, and you get a hit of chocolate chip cookie, and then you get brownie, and then they're amazing. I hope you give these a try. Now, if you love chocolate chip cookies mixed with other things, why don't you check out this red velvet filled chocolate chip cookie bars? I think you'll like this one too. Thanks for watching.